Hey, welcome to Spotlight Creator Studio and today I'm going to show you how to create characters and outfits for your story on Spotlight. Click on the role library and the first thing you will see the main character. The script name is the name that you are going to use in the script of the story. The reader, when they will read the story on the app, will not see the script name, they will see the display name. Here you can choose the body type, so it can be man, man body type 2 or female. Above the character, you can see the animation. Here you can choose the animation you would like to preview on your character. On the right section of the screen, you can see several tabs. So first are server roles. Those are pre-made characters. You may have seen them in some other stories on Spotlight, maybe in some official stories. Feel free to use them. Let's pick the base for our character and then customize it. On the bottom section, you can see all the parts that are used for this character. Click clear roll to delete all the clauses. Next, on the character section, you can customize your character as you want, in details. If you want a vampire, you can choose these lips, but if you want a normal human, pick this. Here you can give some moles or maybe freckles, you can change the color of the freckles, and you can give her some nice makeup. On the other tab, you can choose tattoos. Now let's select the outfit for our character and check out the spotlight library with already made outfits. You can use them as a base or create a brand new outfit from the start. Here you can do and undo actions. You can also use hotkeys. Click here to switch between the front view and the back view and click here to zoom in and zoom out. You also can scroll your character with the mouse or touchpad and move it around. We created our character, we are happy with our script name, we can change the display name anytime. After you save it, you will not be able to edit the script name, only the display name. After you created your first character, you can choose it to be the main character. Each book must have the main character, it can be either male or female, there must be one. Otherwise, you will not be able to create a chapter. So click here and save. Once it's saved, on the character list you will see heart MC next to the character name. Now let's look closer on those three dots. Click on them and you will see copy and delete. Click copy to duplicate the character. It will be exactly the same character, let's rename it. You cannot use space or special symbols in script name. You can only use letters and numbers. You don't have to use capital letters, but when you write it on the script, it should be the same as you named it. So if it's all capital, you just write all capital. If it's all lowercase, then you must write the lowercase in the script. If you create it in character and then you change your mind and you don't want to use it in the script, you can delete it. If you like the character you created and you want to use it in your other books, you can add it to favorite. For this, click on the blue folder on the top right corner and later you can find this character in my favorites here. Okay, now let's create a new role and this time it will be the love interest. Actually, I don't want to customize him and I already have a favorite character here so I'm just gonna click on him. As you may notice, you cannot delete some facial parts like eyebrows, noses and etc. A fantasy or sci-fi author might ask, but what if I want a robot or a faceless person? What to do? Okay, here is a life hack. Create a new role and then let's go to server roles. The, the very first one, you see the model man without anything. And then if you need eyes, you can just add eyes and don't add anything else. But once you add eyes, you cannot delete them. Let's create this character as a shadow. And now let's jump to the outfits tab and create a few outfits for our characters. Here on the left side, you can see the outfit list and there are already four default outfits of your characters. Let's make a new one. This is a standard model, but if you want to use one of your characters to preview the dress, click to the preview above and select the character. So now we can preview it with our main character. Okay, we created our outfit, but before saving we should give it a name, script name. The reader on the app will not see the script name. This script name is purely for your usage inside the script. I personally prefer to name outfits with the character name, then chapter I use it in, and then the short description of the dress.
If you want to make a premium outfit, you can put the price to outfit here. Let's say 15 and save. Now in the list you will see this outfit with a gem price next to it. You can change the price anytime you want. Now let's click on these three dots and here we have the same thing as in the character creation menu. We can copy outfit, we can delete the outfit, we can add it to favorites. Also you can click on this blue folder if you want to add this outfit to your favorites. That's it for the character and outfit creation. Follow our YouTube channel and Instagram for updates and see you in the next video.